We can cross now to Jinwei Osundu to get the latest. Jinwei, uh, are they all free? We see images there of smiling girls. You know, they look to be in good health. Have you any more details? Um, yeah, of course. Um, they look in good health, but of course, uh, staying uh, in captivity for a few days, um, it, it's something that is always traumatizing. Uh, but it's also worth noting that um, the media aid said, uh, the media aid to the governor um, said it's about 279 uh, girls that have been freed so far. So we have uh, about 38 unaccounted for, as at this morning. Um, yes, um, it's, a, it's a good thing. It gladdens the hearts of, um, of the parents who are also awaiting to meet uh, uh, with their children after their brief meeting with the governor of uh, Zamfara. Uh, any idea how their release came about? I mean, were there negotiations? How did any details filtering through? Uh, we cannot confirm if there was uh, negotiations exactly, but what we know usually is that there is always negotiations. And reason why we um, heard the president uh, last week say, uh, asking the governors to review uh, their negotiations approach with the bandit, because from his statement and from his declaration, it was clear that they reward the bandits either with cars or some other items um, that they table uh, during negotiations. So, for according to President uh, Muhammad Buhari, this backfires in the long run because they keep uh, doing this thing since this becomes uh, uh, like a, a source of major income for them. Indeed, and so, it, look, it looks like the, the, these styles of kidnappings are increasing perhaps in frequency in northern Nigeria. We saw two within the space of just one week. Yes, it's actually becoming a trend, if we could say that. Uh, if there are negotiations on ground and if it's a major source of income for the bandits, then it should be um, a norm for them. Uh, anytime they want uh, something, they'll just do uh, what they think will bring them back what they what they are needing. Um, reason why, uh, of course, negotiation, even kidnapping in the north of uh, Nigeria, has always been there for back in the years. Remember the Chiba girls, and remember also what happened in December last year. Um, kidnapping of travelers from the highway has always been a major source of uh, bandits in the north part of Nigeria. But for the innocent schoolgirls, I think it's the new trend. Well, we cannot for sure say what is underneath until um, investigations really reveal what is happening. Just very briefly, the governor of Zamfara State had said that the schools in the region would close on the back of this kidnapping. What's the situation now? Are they reopening? Is security around them being stepped up? Um, as for now, there is still closure because they need to really arrive to some decisions before they can access students to go back to school. And I wonder if any parent will allow um, his child to go back to school with the level of insecurity in the north and what is happening right now. I don't think it will be a good idea for any parent to let even the child go back to school. So yes, schools are still closed until there are new well, sure measures to an extent before we'll talk about reopening of schools in the north part of Nigeria. Chinwe Osundu, thanks so much for your time and bringing us the latest on that situation there.